Hi there, my name is Magdalena Afshalaki. I'm a certified nutrition coach and a founder of Hormones Balance. If you clicked on the weight button, it's probably because you have been really, really frustrated with your weight gain or the resistance to losing these extra pounds. I would guess that you have been on many different diets. You have counted calories, taken supplements, promising shakes, tried some detoxes, maybe joined a support group like the Weight Watchers. You have been working out like a mad lady at the gym, been running three to five times per week. And while your girlfriend lost 10 pounds, you lost two. Does this sound familiar? You probably really don't like looking at yourself first thing in the morning. You cringe looking at the clothes you once could wear, but they don't fit you anymore. I understand, it's not about being vain. Our weight defines us as women. It's a reflection of our beauty and our health. Our self-esteem, confidence take a plunge. We start feeling unloved, unsexy, socially distant and frustrated. That we have done so much more than other women, yet the muffin top just would not go away. I know some of you have shared this with your doctor and all he or she could have told you was eat less and exercise more, right? Let me just make this very clear. It's not your fault. It is not your fault. Would it make sense to you if I said that a healthy person does not have weight problems? I will repeat that. A healthy and balanced out person, or a person whose hormones, sugar levels, digestive system, metabolism is healthy and balanced, does not have a weight problem. This is something your doctor has probably never told you, and that is yes, your digestion, sugar levels, toxicity of your body, mind, environment can have a profound impact on your hormonal health and your weight. And this is why we created the Hormones Balance Quiz. I would recommend you take it and see which hormones are the potential culprits to you not shedding these extra pounds. You might be surprised what you will learn. Let me give you an example. Did you know that chronic stress could be what is making you overweight? And let me explain this. When you're in a constant and frequent state of stress, our adrenal glands produce a hormone called cortisol. It helps us to mobilize your body to cope with adversity. This means that cortisol raises your blood sugar levels, your blood pressure goes up, and this is why we can achieve incredible things when under stress and pressure. And this is key to our survival. Now, what you may not know is that cortisol is a very potent steroid hormone. I'm sure you've heard of people who are put on steroid hormones and no matter what they eat, they just can't lose that weight. And this is what might be happening to you as well. So think about it. If steroids equal stubborn weight and cortisol equals steroid hormone, does it now make sense when I say cortisol and stress equal stubborn weight? I don't want this to sound like a physiology class, but just bear with me here for a second. When cortisol levels go up, your blood sugar levels go up, your body needs to find a way to get rid of the excess sugar, what we call glucose. Glucose goes into your body cells, such as your brain, your muscles, so we can think and act fast and respond to stressful situations. But when your glucose levels are perpetually high, your body needs to get rid of them from the bloodstream so there is no damage done to your vital organs. The only safe place we can store this excess sugar, and you probably guessed it, is your fat cells. Yes, your fat tissue. And this is why you can be eating a seemingly healthy diet, but it's your stress and the elevated cortisol levels that get stored in your body cells. Does that make sense? The other common reason why women experience weight loss resistance is to elevated estrogen levels. Estrogen is another steroid hormone that many women today are struggling with. We call it estrogen dominance. We bathe in an estrogenic cocktail every day. Where is it all coming from? Well, meat from non-organic animals is one such good source. To today's animals are injected with growth hormones that interfere with your own hormones. Certain foods like soy are highly estrogenic. Birth control pill is also made of estrogen. Well, the worst source of estrogens are what we call xenoestrogens or synthetic estrogens, which are widely found in non organic meats, our skincare products, kitchens, household cleaning products, perfumes, water bottles, and so many more. So, take a guess now. How do you think does your body get rid of all that excess estrogen? It's mainly through your liver. However, most people, and that was certainly me, have a very sluggish liver. But your body needs to free itself from all that extra circulating estrogen. So you know where it gets stored when the liver is just too toxic? You guessed it, it's in your fat tissue. Today's research finds that our fat tissue carries over 125 toxins and estrogen metabolites are amongst them. Okay, there's one more hormone that can contribute to these extra pounds and that's your thyroid. 
Your thyroid is like a gas pedal that ramps up your metabolism, which you probably know is responsible, among other things, for converting fat into energy. Low thyroid levels are infamously underdiagnosed and misdiagnosed by so many doctors, and this is one of the reasons why any results should always be taken with a grain of salt. Instead, do the hormones balance quiz and find out, based on your symptoms, what are the potential challenges. Knowing your anatomy is half the battle, right? You will get the results right away, and you can also sign up to my website to have these results emailed to you and get the Hormones Balance Starter Kit. The Starter Kit will give you clear solutions on the first steps you can take to address some of your hormonal issues. You will learn about three key changes you can make coming from nutrition, lifestyle changes, and emotional adjustments that will help you regain your weight, energy, mood, and sex life. So go ahead and hit the Hormones Balance Quiz button now. As a woman myself, having dealt with high cortisol levels, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, estrogen dominance, yet having a full-blown advertising career, I know what it feels like to be in your place. So go ahead, take the quiz and get to work. See you on the other side.